This might be one of the best things I've ever made. I call him Santa Claus. And of course, the elves have decided to unionize. They want workers' rights and safety protocols and stuff like that. No, no, no. You work in the sweat shops, or North Pole as we call it, or you become reindeer meat. Your choice. Ho, ho, holy crap, that must hurt. Who's been naughty? Who's been nice? Who's never going to be found under the ice? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That game where the battles aren't really totally accurate, and they haven't been for a very long time. Actually, I think it's only going to get worse now because the developers finally released the Unit Creator, which means anyone can go and make anything. And of course, I went and made some real messed up stuff, which is what we're going to be screwing around with today. We'll start things off nice and simple with a totally accurate pimp. I, I think I actually called this unit Pimp Daddy, and I gotta say, I'm oddly satisfied with him. You know, he's nothing flashy, but like he's got his cane for keeping hoes in line, he's got his Glock for defending him, and right now he's got a problem with these friggin' Renaissance painters. They think that they can just paint your French girls and not pay. It's completely unacceptable. We're gonna have to put them in line, Pimp Daddy. <gasps> oh, right. I completely forgot that they can dodge projectiles even before bullets were invented. Okay, well fortunately that's what makes this unit unique. He's both a melee unit and a ranged unit. So he should be able to give him a good caning and pop some caps and knees and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Pimp Daddy. This probably won't come as a surprise to many of you guys, but Pimp has been having beef with Cupid for a long time now. He's trying to sell love, meanwhile Cupid's just giving it away. He's throwing off supply and demand, so of course it was only a matter of time until all the pimps came together and unionized to take out the Cupids. Which I imagine is what's about to happen. Right, there's no way Cupid is gonna stand a chance. No, we've got a few pimps who have their suede suits nut to butt with one another, but <laughs> who would have guessed that bullets would be super effective against a flying man in a diaper? Even with all those canes, why do I get the feeling Pimp just bit off way more than he can chew? <laughs> like, I wanted him to face off against some hoes, but I don't think Artemis appreciates being called that. <laughs> Like, I would say that all these dynamite maidens in the front are going to get blown away, but Artemis is going to have a word or two. Uh, Artemis is different. I mean, she's got like a Bulbasaur upgrade all of a sudden. She's just firing leafy arrows. Interesting. I didn't think that they changed any of the pre-existing units with this update, but maybe I'll have to explore them a little bit. She's absolutely crucifying them. <laughs> yep. Go figure. Oh, the cheerleaders are different too. Look at you. <laughs> they look so good now. This is exactly why I don't read the update logs because I just love being surprised. So let's try the new Artemis against a hundred halflings. Everyone's favorite crash test dummy. I just want to see what these new arrows do. It seems like they act the same as any other arrow. Just a little cosmetically different. Print? What the hell was that? <laughs> I was gonna say, did her butthole just inhale? But she fired a tornado. And lo and behold, like a fart in the wind, the hobbits got blown away. <laughs> that is so cool. She's way better now, too. She can actually take out entire groups a whole lot faster. <laughs> oh, are they alive? I thought they were dead. Please tell me some of them are alive and you're about to shoot them off the wall. Oh wait, are they alive in the wall? They're alive in the wall. Yep, she's having a hard time figuring out what's going on. <laughs> Give her a second, she might be able to pin the tail on the donkey here. No, it wouldn't be an update to tabs if something didn't break right off the bat. 
I don't think I could have asked for a more perfect time to finally mention in a video that I've got my very own Captain Sauce figure coming out, and I have a hard time believing that this silly YouTube channel of mine can finally say something like that, but this is the way it's gonna work. On November 27th, noon PST, at youtubescom slash products slash Captain Sauce, orders are gonna open, and they're gonna be extremely limited. Like, I don't know if they're gonna sell out in a week, or a day, or, or an hour, but once they're sold out, that's it. Like, the order is placed. You'll never be able to get one again. Even I won't be able to get one again. So I'm getting like a dozen just to be safe. Some of you guys probably saw this on the community tab already, but they're also giving away like half a dozen figures leading up to the release. So you can go to captainsauce.u2s.com and enter at a chance at winning one of those. But like the biggest thing that I wanted to make really clear and I wanted to take the time in a video to say is that I tried so, so hard to make it so that this would be something that's in people's hands on Christmas day. But something that they could receive as a gift, something that they could give as a gift, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. Like these are pre orders Orders. If you place an order, you're guaranteed to get it, but odds are it's not going to ship until like the beginning of January, I want to say. It says on their website March, but that's just because like you can't predict these things. Like, with COVID, there's no way of telling when stuff is going to get made, if it's going to be allowed to get shipped into the country or not. It's just so incredibly soul crushing. I was really disappointed, but I didn't want to call it off because it's still like the coolest thing to have ever happened to my channel. I'm not going to lie. And I'm special. They sent me an early prototype and I got to show this to you guys. I'm probably not going to show you guys everything in great detail. I want to leave some surprises for the people who actually get it because like, I, there are a lot of jokes and memes on this and stuff. You know, I, I got to design all of it, which I still think is just so friggin' cool. And this is the empty box. Where's the figure? It's reasons like this that I'm not an unboxing channel, but there you have it. If you want to get it, be sure to keep an eye out. There's a link in the description to everything I just said. Let's get back to screwing around in tabs. The next unit I made is simply called Nanner. You know, I wanted to make a fruit themed unit for whatever reason. I can't remember my thought process other than the fact that he throws apples, but I've increased the fire rate to the max. I don't know if this is going to break the game. I kind of hope it does. One way or another, we're going to find out because these hungry peasants will be fed somehow, hopefully by apple rather than Nanner, oh no. No, you fall over, you throw so fast. <laughs> the apples don't even really hurt all that much. <laughs> Who would have guessed the flicking fruit at people wasn't all that deadly. It was deadly enough though. Let's see how our rapid fire apple barrage fares against something a little bit bigger. <laughs> I get the feeling this might be slightly uneventful. You know, they're probably just gonna bounce off his tits. What the heck? hell was that? How many of these units have they changed? I know I started off this episode by saying that the game isn't actually accurate, but at the same time, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for the ice giant to be breathing fire. But so that had to have been breathing ice somehow. I mean, we're gonna need a couple more of them to find out for sure, because these are surprisingly deadly apples. Oh yeah, those are some frozen fruit flickers, even though they didn't freeze solid. <laughs> They're still going. Oh yeah, and then the frost giants punch afterwards. So that's a direct upgrade, even though it still wasn't enough to fend off these fighting fruits. <laughs> I wonder how shields would face off against something like this. Like, we've had apple tossing in the game for ages now, but we've never been able to test his potential because like, it's always just been the third of the wheelbarrow, which is an irrelevant unit to begin with. <laughs> but now we can really crank things up. So what if I had them face off against like 110 shields? I, I know you don't usually make an army of just shields. It all defense, no offense, but at the same time, they've got metal shields, they've got metal armor, they're facing off against bananas with produce projectiles. <laughs> this should be a perfectly fair fight for the blue team, but it doesn't feel that way. The bananas are also surprisingly large. I think I made them like one and a half times the size of a regular tabs unit, so they're foreboding to say the least. You wanna know what's worse than getting stung by a bee? 
getting stung by many bees. This is a super cheap, very small unit that I made that attacks in swarms, and boy oh boy do they attack. They actually sting. For some reason, these farmers have decided that they don't want their crops pollinated this year. And to that, I say, tough titties. Because <laughs> the bees are coming. <laughs> They're so fast that they fall over sometimes. <laughs> oh, there are the stingers. Okay, yup, whole bunch of stinging. Do you feel that? <laughs> I love that you can see the stingers hanging out of them. They're having a hard time swatting them. They're so small. They're only like up to your knee. And the best part is they're not even hobbits. They, they don't have the hobbit shape. They're just tiny little bee people. And boy, oh boy, are they angry. Should have just given up the pollen, dudes. You just had to go and pluck the tree with their hive in it to be your weapon, didn't you, Mr. Giant? Well, now they're pissed again. I, I could have made them fly, but I love the fact that they run over each other and fall. Okay, yeah, they got mega smushed there. It was all one giant needle cloud and then nothing. The size differential might be an advantage for them though, because I don't think he can, holy crap, that's a lot of spines or stingers, I should say. Come on, guys, you got this. I believe in you. Oh, I guess get him down to your size. Perfect. Just, just chop him down. Come on. No, uh, this is. It's impossible to tell who's winning because, in all reality, I don't think the bees do all that much damage. They just kind of sting and it hurts a little bit. They get you by numbers, but when there's only a few of them left, about as much chance as half a dozen bees killing a real person. Is he going into anaphylactic shock? I think they're punching his taint. Yeah, they're just wailing on him. He doesn't seem to be doing too good. On the one hand, he can't stand up again, and they're trying to crawl up his butt. But on the other hand, I don't know if they're really doing any damage to him. I could take control of you to see they're really not. You could so easily just end this. I think he was rolling around for the fun of it, just, just to give him a laugh. God, what is wrong with you? Come on, finish them off. There we go, just kick their corpses. I can't hit them. And I've been watching him try to hit them for like 10 minutes now, sticking his ass out twerking. Or maybe it just hurts from all the stings. Finally, that was a mismatch. This might be one of the best things I've ever made. I call him Santa Claus. And of course the elves have decided to unionize. They want workers' rights and safety protocols and stuff like that. No, 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 you work in the sweat shops, or North Pole as we call it, or you become reindeer meat. Your choice, ho, ho, holy crap, that must hurt. <gasps> Who's been naughty? Who's been nice? Who's never going to be found under the ice? I kind of want to see if Santa can 1v1 someone who's a little bit closer to his own value. So for the first time ever on screen or stage, Santa Claus versus a knight. I would imagine you'll be able to get up close and personal. Pull a Wolverine. Come on, Santa. Open him up like a tin can. That's what I'm talking about. Zeus, Thor, Ar Artemis, I'm really sorry about this, but like, there's barely enough room for Christ in Christmas. <laughs> no more gods, you go back to your pagan holidays or whatever you're doing. <laughs> Ooh, man oh man, Artemis has gotten a whole lot stronger. Fortunately, Santa is all over that. <laughs> you guys were put on the bad list. <laughs> Why is he so strong? He's just a melee unit. There's nothing, sp I, I, I didn't do anything weird other than dress up a unit to look like Santa. I think other than the units who cost literally infinite, the super boxer might be the most expensive unit in the game. But like, the thing is, who do you think got him those magic glowing gloves to begin with? It wasn't his mama, I'll tell you that much. It was the claws, ooh. Was that him or you, Santa? Oh boy, um, did we bite off more than we could chew? Did we fill up on cookies and milk? Nope, we're good. He's flashy, I'll give him that. Oh, that is awkward. Uh, hey, Jesus, how's it going? Oh, Santa, he was just doing Christmas stuff. No reason to 1v1 him. Oh. 
He's trying to make Santa pray, but even on his knees, Santa inches forward, and he's back up. Go on, Santa, I believe in you. Listen, I don't have anything against Jesus. I just really like presents. I think Jesus would be a whole lot more effective when facing off against people who believe in him. So how about we try half a dozen squires? They've got crucifixes on their chest. That's the effect we're looking for. Good prayer. Nice deep prayer. Just drag yourself along the ground and, uh, oh, oh, those prayers are uh, about to be answered by rabbit punches to the back of the head. Come on, Jesus, they're gonna get back up. Oh, okay. Are we not gonna talk about the fact that it seems like Jesus is always ready to be a martyr? That's ironic. Would you believe me if I told you this was the most powerful unit I made? I call her Wendy, and she's a big fan of gripping and ripping nuts, so let's see that in action. Come on, Wendy, you got it. I know there are a bunch of grown adults, but... Maybe the Prospector wasn't a great choice there. They're kind of good against single units. All right, okay, let's take that from the top. Wendy, this really shouldn't be a big deal to you, okay? It's just like a dozen Spartans. You've got the dick twist. Now twist the dick. Come on, dick twist. Oh my God. Did I mess something up? How about we reset and just try against a bunch of poor people, okay? If you can clap at them on Twitter, you should be able to dick twist them in real life. Come on, girl, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, that's a two hand grab. I like it. Now, you need to stand up. Please stand up. Would the real Wendy please stand up? Oh my God, will you stop getting gang banged on the floor? You got this, I, I know you got this. You cost like a thousand times more than them. You see, you see she's got two handfuls. They can't move. It, it's a weak spot of most. I just need her to be able to finish them off. She's doing the grabbing, but she's not doing the twisting. She's not doing the ripping. Come on, Wendy. What is happening? Okay, well, we actually won, but if she gets outnumbered at all, she's useless. I, I, I guess every single created unit can't be perfect. Well, this can mean only one thing. We're gonna have to have a 1v1 to see who is the strongest unit that I made for today's episode. Is it Santa Claus or is it Wendy? Santa costs like a third as much. Let's find out. <laughs> Come on, Claus, you got this. I want you to win so bad. Holy crap. <laughs> it's not even close. I don't know what I just clicked on, but all of a sudden, I somehow have access to all of the semi-units that are in the game, you know, like the horse without its chariot, which we clearly have to mess around with. Dr. Zoid, you don't have any moral obligation to punching a horse in the lips, do you? No? Wonderful. I mean, we might need a couple more of you because it's not exactly a fair fight, but that being said, I think we might be able to make it work. Something like that. I'm surprised the horses are so expensive. I shouldn't be though. Oh, right. Dr. Zoid is a bit of a murder too. <laughs> it's just claws and explosions. Let's try that again, except for this time we'll use an adequate amount of the good doctor. Maybe something like that. Get those horses. I don't know if the resulting explosions hurt my team. Feels like they do, but Dr. Zoid is kind of a vanilla unit. Like, that's the thing. When you make a unit in this game, it's not gonna be anything crazy because it only introduces stuff that's already in the game. He's just punching people with claws, but at the same time, he's half lobster, half doctor. What more do you want? Come to think of it, this is the first time we've ever had landfall release guns in the game. I think we've had them because of mods before, but these are actual developer released guns. So we gotta see how the wobbly horses handle bullets. I would imagine not well. This is gonna be a glue factory kind of scenario, or they'll just ricochet off. Apparently they're bulletproof horses. Good to know. You know what, desperate times call for desperate measures. The wobbly horses are just cleaning me out, so we're gonna have to summon fish. Or fishies, I would imagine. We're gonna need a whole bunch of them. They're a powerhouse, they're real expensive. This isn't even kind of a fair fight. I just wanna beat these horses. 
<laughs> and I want to see what the fish does. I, I think that they just hit people with fish, right? Are, are they are they hitting anything with fish? Are they accomplishing anything other than dying? Was it a mistake to use them on land? What just happened? I legitimately don't know what to say about that because not only are the horses outnumbered two to one, but they're outvalued by like four times. Why are they so strong? Oh, you know what that means. We're gonna have to take him down to Pound Town. This is gonna be the grand finale of the episode. The heavyweight championship, and I should probably make it a somewhat even fight. How about this? We'll have even money. There we go. That's close enough. Come on, Santa, you got this. I wanna see dead horses, yes. You'll wobble no longer. I had to make some phone calls, okay? I had to get a Santa from every mall in the nation to come in, but it was worth it to watch the horses run in fear. <laughs> Thank you, Santa Claus. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And once again, just thank you guys so much, not just for supporting Tabs, but for supporting the channel. Well, I mentioned the U2s in the video earlier, and I, I honestly would have never thought that I would get to make something that cool and that people would hopefully be interested in it. I have no idea if people are gonna buy it. I hope they do, because like, I, I, it will support the channel, but mostly because I think it's really cool. And if you guys have any ideas for anything you want to see me make, then as always, be sure to leave a comment, give me some recommendations, I need ideas desperately, leave a like on the video, and I'll return to see Santa rip people apart again soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.